Hello everyone, welcome back again. In this tutorial, as you see, I will show you how I created this Google logo animation inside of After Effects. Alright, I don't want to waste your time, but before start the tutorial, please make sure you like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel. And I will drop this project file in the description so you can download and you can use wherever you want. Alright, let's get started. Awesome, we are in After Effects as you see. Let me show you how I created this logo animation. Let's see the layers. First of all, I have created this circle. It has 132 stroke width, which means, let me show you, when I create this circle, as you see, it is the size of G. Okay, perfect. All right, let's select the blue line, press U on the keyboard. As you see, we have this animation. And as you understand, this is just trim pad animation. I have used trim pad. I don't need this one. Let's delete. I just use trim pad and animate the start parameter from 100 to 0. All right, perfect. Let's go to the red and press U on the keyboard. This is this circle animation. So it had starts from 0 and 88 the parameter for end so it has the impact animation as you see and make sure as i as you understand i just offset the parameter because when you didn't offset it will not start wherever you want so make sure you arrange this parameter as well press u on the keyboard for yellow this is yellow circle and it has same parameter zero to 62 and the other ones as well as you see i animated the g layer just using trim pad animation all right perfect let's go to the other letters so i have this google outlines as you see those letters here i have reference i have just used this reference and i download it from google so make sure you use this reference for creating this animation all right perfect let's let's make invisible and come here to do this text layer let me show you what it is as you see this is just text layer and the google using this font i don't know how to pronounce it maybe it is futur futura i don't know i'm not sure so don't worry about that so google is using this font so i animated each layer separately to do that i right click and here create and create shapes from text it will create these outlines for you so make sure you do that okay when i create shape layers from text layer i will have this layer so let's go inside of it i have this as you see letters and i don't want to use g letter so i i made it invisible but for each layer for each letter let's go each inside of each layer and i just animated the transform so the position and the opacity for this red o letter as you see the first position is here and the opacity is zero and the position for the last time is here and it is zero and the opacity is 100 so i did same thing for the o sound or o letter let's go transform o as you see i just offset the layers as you see perfect let's go to the g layer again we have same animation position and opacity and go l and let's go transform l this time i have different animation as you see the letter is coming from out of the composition and it stops here we just have position animation here and then i just scale the size the length let's say so i have this nice bones animation as you see the first number is around 140 and here 70 here 110 and it will increase and decrease and then it reaches 100 
All right, perfect. Let's go to the E layer, which means E letter. We have this, as you see again, position and scale animation, like we did for L letter, and it has position and scale parameters, and it has bones animation. Let's say squash and stretch animation. All right, perfect. Then, as you see, we have this E letter, and it rotates a little bit so I need to do that so for this one I duplicate this E letter and here it is and I just did this rotation animation as you see it just rotate perfect but make sure you decrease the opacity for first E letter and then increase the opacity for second E letter as you see here this letters it is as you see 100 and here 0 and the second e letter starts with 0 opacity and 100 opacity at the end that's all as you see everyone we have done really awesome google logo animation inside of after effects i am sure you like it all right if you like this video please like the video and if you have any questions, you can drop your questions on the comment section below. I will answer your questions as soon as possible. In addition, as I said you before, I will drop this project file in the description so you can download and use it. Alright, until next tutorial, take care.